All right, good morning, everybody. I was just leaving out of uh, <coughs> this place where I was staying here, and uh, anyhow, the lady come walking out of the kitchen, and she just kind of looked like, you know, set her stuff down. It's quiet. I said, are you the one that made this breakfast? And she goes, uh, she goes, yes. And I said, it was very good. <laughs> and she just started going, like, getting all ecstatic, really glad and to hear it and she's going wow she goes thank you very much she goes I'm such and such and we introduced ourselves and then uh, I immediately I uh, I asked her you know does she know we're in the end times and no and she does know her Bible a little bit her dad was a minister in a church and another friend of hers his father was a minister in the church and she said what she didn't like one day was she noticed that her and her dad's friend they would both go out to nightclubs and you know partying or whatever and she just didn't feel something wasn't right about that and uh, anyhow I just proceeded to tell her about you know NASA T minus the countdown how it spells Satan how we've never been there it's a lie I said everything we've been lied to about how uh, the US invaded uh, um, Iraq over there and then took all that military equipment said they were training those people which ISIS just happened to get and then uh, They had all that military equipment while they're cutting off people's heads, and then they're going nope. We're not going over there and uh, You know this was all propaganda that was no military uh, Event these people nobody could ever find out where they were um, And they were supplied by the US man the United States, man, they were supplying them. And uh, they didn't do any of the things that they were telling the public. They do all the propaganda. The minister of uh, Britain, uh, when he came out and he spoke and he said, it's all propaganda, and he goes, and the U.S. is behind it, he died right after saying that. And uh, you guys, the problem is people all follow it, you know, and it's all the Jesuits. You only have to look and see what they do is they go down, they go to there where the Pope is, they kiss, they bow down and kiss his hand. They started and formed this country. They are the United Nations, United States. They're behind all of this. And uh, they created it. They've been running the show. And uh, people follow it. People listen to them and they know it. Anyhow. Uh, the, the main thing is, you guys, what, what they're going to be coming after, first thing they wanted to do is turn people away from the truth. That's the reason why they got the Word of God out of the schools. They got that agenda done. Now the games are over, you guys. And once they've achieved that, the main goal, you guys, it's not everything that everybody thinks, you know, while they're trying to get all religions to come together. Well, it's not going to happen with those who truly follow God's commandments and keep the teachings of Jesus Christ. Okay, those who love him will obey him. They're not going to obey the world and do what the Jesuits are telling them to do. And that's basically what this comes down to, you guys. We have to uh, um, be keeping the commandments. This is what the real war is. It's the war against those who keep the commandments of God and the teachings of Jesus Christ. That's what the real war is. Um, Satan makes war with the remnant of the woman's seed, you know, and he's blinded the minds of everybody else around us. That's what's happening. That's what I told her. I, and I said, I said, you know, you don't have to get left behind. She goes, I'm not. And I said, well, if the word's not abiding in you, and if you don't have understanding, and you're listening to what the world does, and you're walking in darkness, I said, There's, who do you think that group is that says, Lord, Lord, let us in? I said, you can't even, you don't even know the times that we're in. And I said, anybody like that, you got to be getting into Christ. You got to put God first in your life, you know, and, and you will see, he will open your eyes. I said, but if, you know, you find yourself get busy and something telling you, you just don't have time, you don't have time, something telling you, you know, I said, Satan took the, every, everybody at captive at will. I said, only when your obedience is fulfilled, you'll take every thought captive. And she knew those verses, and she's going, wow. She's going, you're, you're right. She goes, you're right. And I said, don't. I said, I said, we're in the black horse right now. You notice the food going up? She goes, oh, my gosh. 
That's a whole lot further than you know. It's the war against God's people is what it is. That's around this whole world. Yeah, they're out there spraying already early this morning. I mean, I could see a couple of them off at a long distance there. I don't think you guys would be able to see them if, even if I showed them to you. Above that tree line, there's a few back there. And there's one up there. I seen them out there when it was dark this morning. Yeah, doing that. Above that tree line. You probably can't even see it. But anyhow, you guys, it's not long. Stay strong, stay steadfast in the Lord. And, uh, you know. Oh, and when I was talking to her, because I, I see the 444 a lot. And I looked over in the microwave and it was... And whoever had something in it, they took it out and they stopped it at 4 minutes and 44 seconds. I said, wow, I see that all the time. 444. I said, now in the King James Bible, you know the first verse that's in the first chapter, first verse, there's 44 letters. I said, in the last chapter, the last verse, there's 44 letters. And she goes, like, really? And I said, oh, yeah. And 444, I said, God's in the uh, Bible 444 times. Yeah. I said, I came back here because I wanted to, because when I talked to her in the morning, I something, I just said, I got to talk to her. I can't just walk away and not. So I did. I turned around and I talked to her. And that's when I seen the uh, 444 on the microwave like that. Anyhow, God bless you guys. I love you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.